today about 75 countries have net zero carbon targets and importantly 32 countries now have hydrogen strategies or roadmaps. What we see going forward is the adoption of fuel cell technology in buses, commercial truck, rail and marine where zero emission mobility is critically important to, to achieve our decarbonization goals. What makes Vancouver unique in the hydrogen fuel cell space is the extraordinary cluster of talent we have here. Hydrogen fuel cell technology is basically converting hydrogen through a chemical reaction and producing through this chemical reaction electricity and then for this you can store this energy or this electrical energy in battery. With all the activities for the fuel cell technologies in the last three decades, there have come a lot of businesses into the Vancouver area. There's a lot of expertise and it's kind of a Silicon Valley of the fuel cell technology. Cellcentric is a 50-50 joint venture between the Daimler Truck, AG and the Volvo Group in order to enhance long-haul heavy-duty truck applications of uh, fuel cells. Cellcentric has their headquarters in a small town called Kirchheim in southern Germany but we also have a subsidiary in Burnaby, close to Vancouver in Canada. And we always use this location and the know-how accumulated in Vancouver to reinforce our activities in Germany. Operations in Vancouver focus on production, prototyping, manufacturing and research and development of the stack that is the heart of the fuel cell system. Ballard is very active with partnerships and collaborations. We have a very strong collaboration with UK-based Wright Bus. We've been working with them for a number of years in a number of different deployments, and we now see a scaling occurring with Wright Bus and the opportunity for them to take their fuel cell buses to fleets, not just in the UK, but across Europe. If you step back five years ago, the number of fuel cell vehicles in the field was de minimis. But today as an industry, we have about 40,000 fuel cell forklifts in operation, 25,000 fuel cell passenger cars, 7,000 fuel cell buses and commercial trucks. So we already are seeing the first seconds of 24 hour day in terms of market adoption for fuel cell technology. So it's a very exciting time as we look forward.